Here they come, my two intrepid explorers. Charlotte and Lokish. I'm the great Aunt Lizzie, you see, and I wonder which one is coming to see me today. Here, Tay. <laughs> ah, so it's Lokish. Hello, Lokish. Hello, great Aunt Lizzie. Once upon a time, I travelled the world, discovering treasures from long ago and far away and no end of stories to remind me. But my most precious possession of all is my extraordinary collection of teacups. Here we are. <laughs> no time to count the clouds. Have a nice cup of tea and a story. But first, we need a teacup. But which one? That one. Ah, the spouted pot. What an excellent tea time choice, Lokish. This story is about a young woman who wanted to make her special tea party absolutely perfect. Like you do, with a teapot and teacups. I suppose I do. <laughs> Are you ready? Ready. Then let me tell you the story of Lokish and the adventure of the spouted pot. This story begins in Japan, which is famous for the magnificent snow-topped Mount Fuji, where glassy lakes reflected the wondrous colors of the maple trees dazzling in the autumn sunshine. It was in the middle of one of these colourful forests that Lokesh arrived one beautiful bright morning. He came to a clearing and saw a young woman holding a mat and looking about her. Maybe he is too shady? Maybe he is better in the double sunlight. Oh, I don't know. Excuse me. Maybe I can help you choose. This place is nice. Thank you, but nice isn't good enough. It has to be perfect for the chakai. A tea ceremony? Excellent. It has to be done in a calm way, almost like meditation. This afternoon, I have invited my mother-in-law to join me and my husband for it. Hmm. What about here then? Half in the sun, half in the shade. Yes, that is perfect. Good. Now I need to lay everything out. Would you pass me the boxes? That will be very helpful. I am so worried about today. I need to give a good impression. My husband's family are samurai. Uh-oh. You wouldn't want to upset them. You are so right. I just want to show them I can do this perfectly and calmly. Whoops! Oh no! What if my mother-in-law tripped under the dummy? That would be a disaster. We could use stones to weigh down the corners. Then they won't curl up. That's a good idea. Won't be a minute. It didn't take Lokesh long to find some stones. I had no idea you needed all these things. 
And it is important to be calm and set them up in the correct order. This was the Chakai, the famous tea ceremony. Shall I help you? That's kind, but I must do it as part of the ceremony. That tree looks like it's growing out of a rock. Please. The tea ceremony must be done without any unnecessary words or movement. We need to be quiet and contemplate. Oh, I see. I'll sit still and be quiet then. Thank you. Lokesh concentrated on sitting still. was an itch. Oh dear. Uh, sorry, itchy nose. So Lokesh did his very, very best to stay still and quiet. Oh no. I didn't move. No. I have forgotten my spouted pot. I must have left it at home. Oh no. It's very unusual spouted pot that I use for hot water. My father gave it to me and it's very precious. I can't do the tea ceremony without it. Maybe I can go and get it for you. But it's miles away. It was an awfully long way over the mountain and even further to Sakiko's house in the city. It was barely past lunchtime and goodness had it got tricky. Lovely dancing, Lokesh. It's much easier than keeping still and quiet for the tea ceremony. I know. The moment someone tells you to sit still, all you want to do is jump about. I couldn't do everything so slowly and silently for very long. Well, it's good to try sometimes. Don't forget, you usually manage to sit and have tea with me and listen to the story. That's true. I do, don't I? Being calm and still is a very important part of the tea ceremony. Just as important as the tatami that Lokesh helped put down in our story. And maybe as important as the spouted pot. Exactly. So what happened next? Well, Lokesh couldn't give up without getting Sakiko the spouted pot now, could he? Off went Lokesh in his hat, bag and boots. through the maple forests, up the mountainside, until when he was almost out of breath, the path ran out. There was only one way to get to the other side. took a deep breath. Lokesh could see the magnificent city of Tokyo spread across the Great Plain. But there was no time to stand and stare. Lokesh was on a mission to get that spouted pot. He made his way to Sakiko's house. The spouted pot should have been on the table. He searched and searched and it was nowhere to be seen. Lokesh was about to give up when he heard whistling coming from the garden. Whoa! Hello. Hello. I'm Lokesh, a friend of Sakiko's. Ah, oh, pleased to meet you. I'm Sakiko's father. 
I had just uh, come to visit her, but she's not here. She's having a tea ceremony picnic with her mother-in-law in the maple forest. Of course, I forgot that was today. She forgot her spouted pot. She said she left it on the table, but I can't find it anywhere. And... This one, you mean? <laughs> <laughs> I know, Sakiko loves to use it to hold hot water for the tea ceremony. Mm. But I tease her. I use it for watering higher plants, even though it makes steam coming out of her ears. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, you have to admit, it is shaped like a watering can. Lokish looked at the funny-shaped stone-coloured pot, all decorated with little flowers. It was indeed the shape of a watering can. It's very pretty. I gave it to her. She told me, and she said it was very precious. Oh, I'm very pleased she likes it. Oh, you'd better take it straight away. Thanks. Down the mountain and through the maple forest. This is my friend Lokesh. Please join us. Thank you. Thank you. I didn't make your dad. He was watering plants with it. Oh, he's always doing that to tease me. Is everything all right now, Sakiko? Everything's all right. How lovely. What an exquisite little pot. Sakiko turned the cup twice in her hand and took a sip of tea. Everybody was so serious. When it was Lokesh's turn, he concentrated his hardest, took the cup, and did exactly as he'd seen Sakiko do. What a charming, polite young fellow, Sakiko. You two have made this tea ceremony quite perfect. Was that the story of Lokesh and the spouted pot? I like the way they were calm and peaceful in the ceremony. So do I. Sometimes things can get a little frenetic. It's good to take a moment to stop and contemplate. We do it at school sometimes. How nice! Oh, no time to relax now. Have to get ready to get you home. How did that get there? Home time now, Lokesh. Thanks, Wei and Lizzie. Cheerio, bye, Lokesh. Bye.